What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras' vessel. My own mentor. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me, until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Carruth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. You could give me a shot to delay my healing mods from kicking in. A small incendiary grenade will leave burn marks that look like I was injured while making repairs to the ship. Make my wounds bad enough, and the Sith will drag me off to the morgue or the medical facility to die. When my healing mods kick in, I'll come back and save the rest of you. I'm the best chance we've got, and everyone knows it. But you're the boss, so I'll bow to your authority. I still think it's best, unless you've come up with another plan. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karth warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found an injured Mandalorian in the back. Looks like he was trying to rig the ship's engines to break free of our tractor beam when something exploded. Admiral Karth wants us to question all the prisoners. Did you get any information from him? He's unconscious right now. I don't think he's going to make it. He's burned pretty bad. Dump the Mandalorian in the medical bay. Let them take the blame if he dies before the Admiral has a chance to interrogate him. 
Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my home world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him, and the history between you. You mean... Oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <coughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. Pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. <coughs> Enough! You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. More empty threats. We Sith prefer to let our actions speak for us. Perhaps that is why we are winning this war. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. No! Uh, no! Uh, uh, Fing! Uh! Listen, can you not hear her suffering? You can spare her further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you?
Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! <laughs> no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! no! I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Ah! Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Karth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to lose sight of that hope in the face of such unbridled cruelty. But you speak the truth. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. Plus Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? I'd like to believe that Saul was lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger. Casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Brook, Endar, Zar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival, and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. I've known Admiral Carath a long time, and I think you're right. The interrogation was a sham. Saul was toying with us. He didn't care what we told him. I think it was just an excuse to torture us before Malak arrived. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we are here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Candorus busts us out of here before he arrives.
fun. Ichuta, yun patisa, king banik chalora kun. Smilia, tingkuin ko ka, pat chiwi aita ka chong chicha. Agi inko tune, chuna muli ra, tangi wama jiko na. Smilia, tingkuin ko ka, patoga yak fu. Tingkuin ko ka. King Banik Chalora Kun Tung Abashun Ni Chunchi Achua Penki Yun Patisa 
Nice job, Candorus. You keep getting us out of jams like this, and there might be a place for you in the Republic Army, even if you are a Mandalorian. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in, then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. It's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you.